Hello everyone, this is the cat here, and today's video I'm going to make a Tail Ships rant video. Now, I know I was going to do this video yesterday, but I was so busy, and I really tried to make this video yesterday, but I was stuttering a lot, a lot of errors were going on, I was like, you know what, let me move this video on to tomorrow, which is today. So I can finally make this video with no distractions, no one, you know, no commotion, nothing going on, no peace. No one in the room with me, so I can make this video. Now, a little disclaimer. Please respect my opinion, please. I know in the past when I did these shipping videos, they're a little bit different. They're kind of a bit poorly made. Um, you guys notice my thumbnails have changed. You know, I've gotten into a new star of my channel. But I did go back to making song content as much as I used to. And I did make a video, like, days ago explaining why... I am doing this because I'm noticing that you guys are more in tune to my song content. So that's why I went back. And anyway, nothing further to say. So I just really hope you guys enjoy this video and don't take my opinion seriously. Starting with the first one, Tails x Zooey. Now, I'll be honest, I think it's okay, but I don't necessarily ship it. Because there's no development. They didn't start off as friends. The thing is, when you watch Song of Boom, right? And when he first sees Zooey, he falls in love. But that doesn't make sense to me. I get she looks cute. She's an adorable character, but they don't even become friends. They just develop romantic feelings for each other. Not, it's not really developed. I'm just going to throw the word develop out. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It just happened out of nowhere. That's what I'm trying to say. It just happened out of nowhere. They just out of nowhere developed. I keep saying develop. We'll just roll with it. They for somehow, I'm just going to say somehow, developed feelings for each other in that show without having friendship. Like they just started having a crush on each other. And I was like, why is this happening? They hardly know each other. They just end up liking each other. Why? So... I'm just going to say I don't really ship it. I think it's okay. But do I ship it? No. So I'm just going to say I'm neutral. I have mixed feelings about it. Just like a lot of other people who may agree with me. For people who ship it, I respect your opinion. Anyway, moving on. Sally X... Not Sally. Tails X Tails Go. <sighs> I'll just say this, I think the ship is weird, and I don't really ship it, like, I just don't see the motivation, I know that Tailsco is basically the female version of Tails, but it just doesn't make sense to me, and I know Tails and Sonic Pals went really deep into this ship and started making Tails and Tailsco have feelings for each other, but... I just don't like this ship. I think it's so weird, but I respect those who ship it. I just I just don't like it. I get that she's a female, but she's basically still tails, so yeah, I don't like this ship. That's all I can really say. I don't ship it. I don't necessarily hate it, but I just think it's cringe. I don't it makes me feel uncomfortable in some way. So yeah, I don't like it. Tails X Sally. Really, guys? And yes, this is an actual ship. People do ship this. If you haven't already, watch Sonic Saturday AM, please. Because there's evidence that this ship can be debunked easily. Tails referred to Sally as Aunt Sally. And she was literally an aunt to him. Therefore, they didn't have any romantic interest in each other. And Sonali was happening in that show, so what makes you think that Sally would have feelings for Tails if she was already with somebody? Like, really? She was with Sonic in that show. I don't ship Sonali, but I'm just telling the truth. They were together in that show, so what makes you think that Tell Al, what is it called? Salel's was happening? But. <sighs> it's 
there's just no evidence if you ship this i just i just have one question what's wrong with you i'm sorry i'm not trying to be mean but think about it tells us eight in sonic sorry am he was 10 i think sally is 16 or 17 she's one of those ages and you would ship her with a kid tells us too young to be with sally and that's all i really have to say and i'm sorry for some errors i'm noticing i do have some errors in this video so i'm sorry for that um like all the stuttering and yeah i'm sorry for that guys but this is all i really say about this ship i don't like it you know it's just it's a weird ship but people who do ship it i don't hate those who ship it but there's just no reason to ship it. Anyway, let's continue. Tells ex Fiona. I'm just going to say this. I hate the ship. But I don't hate those who necessarily ship it and try to make their head cannon and make Fiona a better love interest. I respect that, but... Kinetically, they wouldn't make a great pairing. Just read Archie Preboot for yourself. And you'll see why I hate this ship. I hate the ship. Because Fiona treated Tails and Sonic bad in the Archie preboot. And even made them fight over her. Like, literally, they're pals. Why would they fight over a girl? I, find that, I found that so stupid when I read the Archie comics. I was like, really? Really, Fiona? Really now? Like, I didn't... I really didn't like that. They almost broke their friendship apart. Like... Seriously, I didn't. They were literally fighting over a girl. I found that so stupid. So, what I'm going to say about the ship is, I don't like it. She was so mean to Tails and Sonic. But I respect those who ship it and try to make her better and seem nice to Tails. But in reality, she's not really nice to him. She was mean. So, that's all I can really say. And our list was soon. Tails X Cream or Tail Ring. This is one of the most popular tail ships yet because they find it so cute. But where's the evidence? That's what I'm looking for. Where's the evidence for the ship? There's none. Except people thinking it's so cute. It looks cute, I'll admit. It does look cute. But where's the evidence? That's what I'm looking for. I try to look for it. I really tried, but there's none. They just see each other as friends. But I respect those who do ship it. But there's just no evidence. Cream is not shown romantic feelings for Tails. And Tails is not shown romantic feelings for Cream. And Cream is just six years old. And people would drop the argument and say that. Well, Tails is just two years older than her. But Cream being that young. I get that they're both kids and they don't really need a love interest. But especially Cream being at the age she is at right now, she really doesn't need love interest. Now, I get that some people do ship Charmy B with Cream. Honestly, I think the ship is okay, but I don't necessarily ship them because I honestly think Cream being the age she is in now, she doesn't, she doesn't necessarily need a love interest. But yes, kids that age can develop romantic feelings for somebody, but romantic feelings for Tails is not it. She's never experienced that. She just thought of them as a friend. She always has, so. Yeah. And people keep assuming that Cream was jealous of Cosmo, which is pretty stupid. She was never jealous of Cosmo. Go back and watch Sonic X if you truly think that she was jealous of Cosmo. They developed a great friendship. They were very nice to each other, so. How is she jealous of Cosmo? I don't see any evidence of that. And, you know, my conclusion on the ship is, I don't like it. And I just don't ship it. Yes, I do hate Tail Ring, but I don't hate Cream herself. I just don't see her and Tails working out as a couple. So, I really hope you guys respect that. You know, don't take my pain the wrong way. I'm trying to sound nice as possible, you know, but I'm just keeping it real. <sighs> sun Ails, or Sun Tails, whatever you like to call it. But I call it Sun Ails. So, a ship between Sonic and Tails. Guys, they're pals. They, there's no evidence that they like each other. And people would try and assume I'm homophobic just because 
I've spoke my opinion on many of these gay song ships and that I don't like them is because they don't have evidence. If one had evidence, then I would like it. You know, I, and I can see why people ship Sally with Nicole because there's a possibility that she could have been bi and that maybe she did have feelings for Nicole. Maybe, maybe they could have worked out. You know, I don't blame people for shipping them, but I don't like to ship myself. That's what I'm trying to say. But it's not that I'm a homophobe. I even have friends who are bi or gay. You know, I have friends who are those sexualities, so just don't assume. But, <sighs> son else? No. Just no. It's not, it's not going to work out as a couple. And think about it. Sonic is 15. Tails is, what age? Eight. So, it wouldn't work out. It's illegal. That's basically what it is. And that's all I really have to say. So, yeah, I don't like it. But I respect those who ship it, but... There's just no reason to. That's all I'm saying. And people can hate me all they want, but what I look for is the evidence. That's what I look for. I look for the evidence of the ship. And when there's no evidence, I just don't like it. And people are like, well, it's so not only happened in Archie and in Sonic Sarah They had a lot of romantic moments, a lot of romance. Um, but I have my reasons not to like Sonali and why I don't ship it. That's a whole different story. But Sonic and Tails, there's no evidence. So, therefore... I don't ship it, and I don't like it. I find it so cringe. But they're great pals. They're buddies. Tails X Mina from the Archie Preboot comics. They got married and had a family, but I don't ship it. Here's why. How did they get married and have a family? That's my question. How did it happen out of nowhere? That's what, that's what I'm wondering. How did, it, how did it happen out of nowhere? You know? But I don't hate those who ship it. Because I can understand. Tails and Mina were a great couple in Archie. But I just don't ship them together. Because I don't see how it happened out of nowhere. You know? But I don't hate this ship. I just don't like it. That's all I have to say about this ship. So anyone who ships this, I respect your opinion. I just don't like this ship. Anyway, let's resume this rant. Oh, God, Tails X Rouge. Really? Rouge is 18. A full-grown adult. Tails is 8. Therefore, he's too young for her. And plus, people can take that scene from Sonic X all they want. But Rouge was just... The thing about Rouge's character is, she flirts to get what she wants. Doesn't mean she likes that person she's flirting with. She flirts to get what she wants. Just like when she was flirting with Gun from Sonic X... Doesn't mean that she liked her, but she was flirting. She always flirts to get what she wants. And you guys know, for people who know me, I do ship Knuckles with Rouge. But I do have some doubts about the ship because she could be using him for the Master Emerald. Because it's shiny. It's an emerald. What does Rouge like? She, she likes jewels. She likes shiny things. She's called the Jewel Thief. You know, so... I, yes, I do have some doubts about Knuckles and Rouge, so I don't ship it as much as I used to. I still ship it. Don't worry, I still ship it, but I just have some of my doubts about it. But I don't hate it. Don't worry, guys. I think it's a great ship, but then considering how Rouge's character is, you have to think about it. But yeah, about the ship between Tails and Rouge? No, it's cringe. It's not going to work out, and there's literally no evidence for it. Tails doesn't even have feelings for Rouge, and Rouge doesn't have feelings for him. Tails x Amy. Now, I've heard a lot of people say that they ship this is because they think that Sonic doesn't like Amy, and that they should pair Amy with Tails. But think about it. Amy is 12, Tails is 8. Nothing further to say here. Plus, they just have a good friendship, and Tails has never shown feelings for Amy, and Amy has not shown feelings for Tails. But they do have great teamwork and they're great friends. I can see that. But there's no romantic chemistry going on. You know, so I don't ship this. And that's all I can really say. Also, people are forgetting. Amy will always pursue Sonic. So if she's, if she's always pursuing Sonic, she's not going to have feelings for anyone else. And she's not giving up for Sonic. She has a go-getter attitude. So what makes you think that... Amy, being the way she is, would just give up on Sonic and then 
have feelings for someone else, let's say, Shadow, Silver, or Tails. That's never going to happen. Anytime soon. Ever. It's just not going to happen. Because she she's the type of character that doesn't give up. And that's what I love about her character. You know? And people are like, well, Amy is being a stalker at that. Are you going off of Sonic Heroes and Sonic Riders? Also... Even in those games, she wasn't necessarily a stalker, but she was, in fact, obsessed with Sonic in those games. I didn't like the way she was in those games, necessarily, but she wasn't a stalker. A stalker is a person who watches you, sends you love letters and stuff like that. No. They're everywhere with you. Is Amy everywhere with Sonic? No, she's not. So, don't say she's a stalker. Calling someone a stalker is a pretty strong thing to say to someone, and... Or about someone, you know, because we're talking about Amy. Or, you know, the word stalker in itself, you know, that word in of itself, it's a pretty strong word. And Amy's just 12. Think about it. That's her age, right? Most girls who are, who are 12 years old do get a bit obsessed like that. They're naturally like that. I've been that way. I've been in... Amy's shoes before when I was her age um but I've grown out of it I've matured more Amy's matured more herself she's still 12 um I don't think Sega's gonna change her character her character's age anytime soon um but she's definitely matured and yeah you can't assume Amy's a stalker because I believe Sega made her that way because of her age most girls her age are going to act that way and chase after the boy they like, you know. So you can't judge her. Tails X Cosmo, I love it. My only likable Tails ship because it actually developed from friendship to romantic chemistry towards each other in Sonic X. I get that Cosmo only appears in Sonic X, but I do love the fact that people are doing the Rally for Cosmo movement. I love that, you know. It just made me so happy to see people actually pleading for Cosmo to come back because I feel like it was not fair for her to be kicked off from Sega. You know, they just killed the character off. And, you know... All I've been seeing was the Ralph for Sally movement, but now we see Ralph for Cosmo, and I really love that, you know. But I only love Tilsma because there's actually evidence. They actually develop romantic feelings for each other. And on top of that, before Cosmo died, Tails even told her himself that he loved her. So that tells you something. He actually had feelings for her, and she had feelings for him too, for sure. There were romantic moments, a lot of them, you know, and that makes me love this ship. I feel like they would have been a great couple, but I respect those who don't like the ship. I just feel like, you know, the ship, the ship in itself is just so cute. It's just, it's romantic. I love it. Um, but again, people don't have to like the ship, but I just see the chemistry. I see that they really did love each other. And that's all I can really say, guys. Um... Out of all these ships, just don't take my opinion the wrong way. Um, just tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. And again, I really hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you're watching this video. You know, watch out for Larry. I've made rants on him. If you don't know who Larry is, if you're new to my channel, please watch my videos on Larry. And also, subscribe to my channel. I'm also at 300 subs. And it's just fun for me to make this video. And, you know, go back to what I used to do back in the old days of my YouTube channel. You know, because I can tell you guys we love those days. And I was like, I should bring them back. So, yeah. And I really love y'all so much. You cat lovers. Peace.